to the five. To the souls on the online through podcast or YouTube channel on the earth, we'd like to suggest the three positional questions. Number one, in verse 15, I have hope in God, which they themselves also accept that there will be no re- resurrection of the dead, both of the just and the unjust. What does it mean in the context and how can you apply it to our lives? Question two in verse 16. This being so, I myself always strive to have a conscience without offense toward God and man. What does it mean? What can we learn from here? Question three, in verse 25. Now as he reasoned about the righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, Felix was afraid and answered, go away for now. When I have a convenient time, I will call for you. What does it mean in the context and what can we learn from here? In the last time in the book of Acts, chapter 23, 35, he said, I will hear you when your accusers also have come. And he commanded him to be kept in Herod Praetorium. Felix kept Paul in safekeeping in the palace of Herod until his accusers came from uh, Jerusalem. Herod family tree, uh, chapter right here, Herod the Great, uh, here, son, here, uh, Antipas, uh, uh, basically, uh, he killed John the Baptist uh, there. Then is uh, his uh, uh, nephew, grandson, uh, Agrippa I, uh, uh, he uh, killed uh, James, uh, the brother over John. James of the Apostle killed him. Also, Herodias today, uh, the book coming out, his daughter, uh, the wife uh, over, you know, Governor Felix, you know, they're talking about that. So his son, Agrippa, you know, second, the next chapter, uh, he uh, uh, stood you know, before uh, uh, Jesus Paul. So, that one, basically. Uh, first one, now after five days, Ananias, the high priest, came down with the elders and a certain OH named uh, territories. These gave evidence to governor against the Paul. Five days later, after Paul's arrival in Caesarea, the accusers who were the high priests Ananias and the lawyer uh, Teratulas came here from Jerusalem. Their plot to keep Paul on the way from the box uh, to uh, Sanhedrin courts in Jerusalem failed. They were persistent to kill Paul. Cross reference here. Verse 2 up to 4. And when he was called upon, Teratulus began his accusation, saying, Seeing that through you we enjoy great peace and the prosperity is being brought to this nation by your foresight. We accept it always and in all places. Most of most noble solid with all thankfulness. Nevertheless, not to be tedious to you any further, I beg you to hear by your calling a few words from us. Territories for the, the plaintiff began with the disflattery of Felix, the governor, accusing Paul. Verse 5 to 6, For we have found this man a plague 
a creature of a dissension among all the Jews throughout the world and bring a leader of the sect of the <coughs> Nazarenes. He even tried to profane the temple and we seized him and wanted to judge him according to our law. Teratulo secured number one, a creator of a dissension. Number two, the ring leader, a leader of the illegal activity of the sect of Nazarene, named as the followers of Jesus born in Nazareth. And later, it was first called as Christians in Antioch Church before Paul's first mission trip. Also, on the Pentecost, Peter said, Jesus of Nazareth. Number three, a profane of the temple, but the accusation was based upon hearsay, not facts. Verse seven, but the commander of uh, these seers can bond and with great violence to him out of our hands. To cure stated, uh, let's arrest Paul into uh, barracks or a castle. That is a cross reference right here. Verse uh, 8 to 9, commanding his accusers to come to you by examining him yourself, you may abstain all these things of which we could him. And the Jews also asserted, assented, maintaining that these things were so. Two accused uh, represented the four accusers that according to the commander's order, they can hear and ask the fellows to judge this case. Then they cons uh, consented. Verse 10. Then Paul, after the governor had nodded to him to speak answer, in as much as I know that we have been for many years a judge of this nation, I do more cheerfully answer for myself. Paul began cheerful defense for himself against the accusation uh, from Felix approval gesture. Verses 11 up to 13. Because you may esteem that it is no more than 12 days since I went up to Jerusalem to worship, and they neither found me in the temple disputing with anyone, nor inciting to crowds, either in the synagogues or in the cities. Nor can they prove the things of which they now accuse me. Paul defended against the first issue. The culture, the plaintiff, did not find any proof for a creature of dissension where they did not find that Paul disputed with anyone or incited the crowd in the temple or in Jerusalem during about 12 days. Verse 14, but this I confess to you that according to the way which they call a sect, so I worship the God of my fathers believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets. Now Paul defended against the second issue, testifying his belief. They accused the sect of Nazareth. I am not guilty of the sect or heresy, but in reality, I am only believing all of the scripture. They don't believe all of the scripture. They peddled the word of God with customs. So, Paul believed all things written in scripture. In the entirety of God's word is the truth. Why don't you believe the entirety? Why do we paddle it with others? That cross reference right here. Question one, verse 15. I have a hope in God, which they themselves also accept, that there will be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and the unjust. Paul said, I believe all that is written. And of course, throughout the Old Testament, 
there are many promises of the Messiah whom God would send. Where Daniel speaks there of the last days, this general resurrection of the death, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting shame and contempt. So Paul said, the Pharisees only also accepted this, and he had hope in God for everlasting life. Here, even in defense at court, Paul testified the resurrection. Even out of season, apparent in proper time, we should preach the word of God like Paul. For example, while app developer in Pakistan, Muslim, India, and Hinduism are developing CCHG app. They are accessible to the uh, word of God. Proof reference right here. Verse 16. This being so, I myself always strive to have a conscience without offense toward God and man. Paul had fulfilled his responsibility of the ministry that he received from the Lord ordered to him to his shame. So Paul said to the others, Ephesus, that I am innocent of the blood of all men because of teaching the whole counsel of God. My conscience is clear because I have shared with you all of the scriptures. What a great thing to be able to say, I have a clear conscience toward God. I have a clear conscience toward the man. And that's the way we should live, even in extreme minority of today's challenge. The cross reference right here. 17 up to uh, 21. 17 up to uh, 21, Paul defended against the third issue to profane the temple. After mission trips during many years, Paul delivered the donation from many Gentile Christians to Jewish Christians in Jerusalem. Verse 10, now after many years, I came to bring alms and offerings to my nation. In the midst of which some Jews from Asia found me purified in the chapel, neither with a mark nor with the tumult. Verse 18, Jews Christian raised the issue against Paul to forsake the Mosaic law, not to circumcise their children, and not to follow its customs. Settled by Paul's purification ritual, from Mosaic law. Seven days later, the Jews from Asia stirring up the whole crowd upon his hearsay about Paul's teaching against the Jews, Mosaic law, and the temple. Here, Paul didn't do a mob or a tumult against a part of the second issue, a ring or later cross reference right there. Verse uh, 19, they all too have been here before you to object if they anything against me. Twenty twenty one. Or else let those who are here themselves say if they found any wrongdoing in me while I stood before the council, unless it is for this one statement which I cried out standing among them concerning the resurrection of the dead, I am being judged by you this day. Paul's defense in the Sanhedrin Council was they did not find any wrong in him, except the dissension between the Pharisees and Sadducees about the resurrection issue. Paul concluded that there was no evidence proved to all three issues raised by the accusers. That's a cross reference right there. Verse 22. But when Felix heard this thing, having more accurate knowledge of the way he adjourned the proceedings and said, when Elisha's the command comes down, I will make a decision on your case. 
Well, it's a third of a pulse depends having he the desire to know accurately the way more. So he put off his decision until the command comes here. Then he deferred this case for two years in verse 27. 23, so he commanded the centurion to keep Paul and to let him have liberty and told him not to forbid any of his friends to provide for or visit him. Felix ordered the century that Paul was under house arrest, but he had a certain amount of liberty. His friends could come and fully visit him for two years. Like in Rome, near the, uh, to the end of his fourth mission trip, then Luke and Philip were with him there. Then Paul most likely wrote the latter uh, to the Hebrews, warning them against going back and trying to find a righteous standing before God by keeping the law and showing the superiority of the Christianity of Judaism, a better new covenant, a better high priest, Jesus Christ, a better hope, a better promises, and so on. That's a cross reference right there. Verse uh, 24, and after Sunday, when Felix came with his wife, Jerusalem, who was a Jewish, he sent for Paul, heard him concerning the faith in Christ. Jerusalem was the daughter of a Herod, uh, Agrippa, uh, number one, the first, who killed James, uh, uh, the brother John. Uh, and the granddaughter, uh, Herod's Antipas, who beheaded John the Baptist. In history, she had uh, her husband and became the third wife of Phyllis, who lived in open adultery. He showed his corruption. Phyllis called Paul, and they heard the face in Christ from Paul. See the Herod family tree above. Verse 25, a question to me. Now as he reasoned about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, Felix was afraid and answered, go away for now. When I have a, a communion time, I will call for you. Paul taught them who reasoned about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come in the scripture. The righteousness to come from God by faith alone. Self-control comes from the fruit of the Spirit, out of love. After that, judgment comes. Christians will stand before Christ will sit on a great white throne to receive the rewards for what we have done for Christ while in these bodies. But if the sinners will stand before the Christ to be condemned into Gehenna, the lake of fire. The angelist was afraid being possibly convicted by the story. But when it's more convenient, I will call you again, putting up, deferring again the important decision about his own life. On the conviction, it does not guarantee conversion unless it takes an acting, dedication, or commission upon that conviction to bring conversion. For example, Suggestion would be attractive upon dedication. So this is the uh, cross reference right there. 26. Meanwhile, he also hoped that money would be given him by Paul that he might release him. Therefore, he sent for him more often and conversed with him. Felix wanted to be bribed from Paul and so called Paul and talked with him, showing his corruption too. Verse 27, but after two years, Pushers the fast two succeeded uh, Felix. And Felix, wanting to do the Jews a favor, left the Paul uh, bound. Felix bound the Paul for two years to police you, showing his third corruption. In history, he was dismissed after the six years of the office by Nero. Nero appointed the Portions of Pastures, 
the success of the governor in Caesarea. Festus immediately ordered the Paul's trial to resume. Then Paul appealed his case to Caesar, having an opportunity to testify for Jesus Christ before uh, Caesar. We covered all the questions. Uh, European Union mission continue to keep on. Thank you so much. You pray because the uh, uh, mobile app uh, for uh, delivery of God's word uh, uh, right now is uh, uh, Android app is so good. Uh, approved now it's in uh, beta uh, stage. Christian population and uh, country. So we looked at there are more Christians than we often realize but only a few are truly Bible-based Christians. So we need really the Word of God. You know, actually, we need that. You may uh, check that out there. Uh, right here, a Calvary and I mean missions. Pray for feeding people from starvation, sickness. Pray for abandoned children in Ukraine and for heat increase. Pray for rescue from Afghanistan and Ukraine and for heat glory. Pray for feeding loads of lambs in Ukraine and in such time. How many members offering are at CCH? That's off the question. You may read that. Uh, here, prayer for Ukraine children often success with his love. PTA, uh, the mission of birth, the base, the headquarters of the Asian uh, the ministries. Pray for Ukraine to be protected from explosion and for peace in Christ. So lots of pray for Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and other Muslim countries, especially under the Hunters uh, uh, Christians. So uh, let's just sing all together the uh, Bush Alaska part, yeah, Malanta song.